Welcome to EdTech Hustle. Let's learn how you can use Notebook LM to learn from a variety of different YouTube videos. The first thing you want to do is go to notebooklm.google. Now, I've talked a lot about Notebook LM on this channel. I have my own playlist, which I'll put in a card on the top right hand side. But once you're inside Notebook LM, what you want to do is just select this button that says try, and we are going to create our own notebook. Now you can see from here, this is where you can add a number of different sources, everything from Google Drive documents to just regular pasted text. You can actually add PDFs, different types of audio files. So lots of great sources, but look right in the middle at the bottom. You could always add a website, but now what you can do is add a YouTube video and Notebook LM will transcribe that video and put it all together, synthesize that information, making it easier for you to learn about a specific topic. All right, so let's say for this example, I want to learn about the history of the iPhone. Now, I went to YouTube, I searched for history of the iPhone, and I found a lot of great videos. But the problem is, it's going to take me forever to watch all of these. And yes, maybe I can download a transcript and that sort of thing, but the transcript is never formatted perfectly. It's going to take me a long time. So all I'm going to do is take any of these videos that I think are interesting, maybe I previewed them, and I'm just going to copy this link right over here. Now I'm going to go back to Notebook LM. I'm going to paste that URL and I'm going to insert it. And you'll notice over at the side instantly that video is now one of my sources. And you can see that it's already starting to create a summary. Let me do this a few different times. Okay, so if you look to the left hand side, you can see all of the sources. These are all of the different YouTube videos that I took and I essentially ingested inside Notebook LM. One thing that you can see is a full transcript below from the video, if I just kind of scroll down like this, and also a quick summary with key topics as well. So definitely something that I think is really helpful. Now, one thing I did want to share with you is that there were a few other videos that I wanted to include here, but for some reason, Notebook LM wouldn't really take them. So let me show you an example. Okay, right over here, here is a great video from Cold Fusion. If I select share and I copy this link, I'm gonna go back to Notebook LM. I'm going to add this as a source, a YouTube video, and I'm going to paste. And now when I select insert, you'll notice that you get this error right over here. This video cannot be imported, transcript not available. So I'm not sure what happened there. It appears the reason it won't import is because the transcript wasn't available. Why that transcript wasn't available, I'm not exactly sure. But in this case, I would just forget this. And you can do that by selecting remove source. Now, again, I could use more than YouTube videos, but this is just an example of one way that I want to show you how you can use Notebook LM, a brand new feature. So once all of your information is inside Notebook LM, you have the option to choose the Notebook Guide. So from here, there's a number of really good features that you can access and help you learn some of this information. Let me start with an FAQ document. All right, here are some frequently asked questions and the answers provided directly from the information that I shared in Notebook. Next, let's check out the study guide. Okay, here is the study guide again, provided from the transcripts in the YouTube videos that I imported as a source in Notebook LM. Now I wanna show you one of my favorite features and that's the option to create a timeline. So timeline is right over here. And check this out, you can see the timeline of events from the history of the iPhone, again, provided from the transcript that I uploaded. So some awesome ways for you to really understand information, but what I like the best about this is this option where you can chat, and this is just like using ChatGPT, but rather than sourcing all of the information that's been ingested in ChatGPT on the internet, it's only going to focus on the sources that you've uploaded. So in this case, I know I've uploaded credible sources. Those videos that I uploaded are credible. So now I can just search for answers. So I'm just going to type and ask who was the designer of the iPhone. Okay, you can see that right over here, Johnny Ive is the person I was thinking of, but not only did it give me Johnny Ive, but it also gave me a number of different people associated with that. So really giving me a specific answer to a more general question. Now let me ask this, why didn't Microsoft release a smartphone? 
So here you can see that it answered the question. It says that the sources that provided focus mostly on Apple, but it did its best to provide an answer based on the information that was provided. You can see that right over here. So some awesome ways for you to learn information. And one last thing, I've covered this before several different times, but if you select this option to generate a podcast, this will then take that information, create about an eight or nine minute podcast with two hosts. It's an awesome feature, especially if you're trying to learn something new, I'm going to put a link to the video as a card in the top right hand side of the screen if you want to check that process out. But that's just about it, a brand new feature for Notebook LM, the ability to take a number of different videos, bring them in as sources in Notebook LM, and hopefully learn about the subject matter in the video. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment area below. And if you like this content, it would be great if you could subscribe. So thanks again, and have a great day.